Hey everyone, in this video I wanted to give you specific instructions on how you should conduct your online peer edit. So as you know, we have been working on writing our essay for our English class. Now a very important part of writing an essay is to get another set of eyes on our work. Now this is because when we write, in our minds we think we know exactly what we're trying to say, however sometimes it doesn't translate perfectly onto our papers. When we have a different set of eyes look at our work, we're more likely to have those errors that we've made caught and corrected before we submit our papers. So this document, which will be posted on Schoology for you, outlines the steps that I want you to follow to conduct your crucial online peer edit. So first, I want you to select a partner. Once you've selected a partner, I would like you to record your partnership by signing up on the peer edit document. I'm going to open up that now just to show you what it looks like. So again, the peer edit document just gives you specific instructions to follow. I've also linked the previous document that I just started on um, so that you don't have to try to find it again. Um, I want you to know that you can form a group of three if you'd like. And so as you can see, I have a column for partner A, B, and C. Um, so again, I'd like you to just record your partnership by posting your names here. That way I can um, look to see who you worked with, and then there's a level of accountability there as well. So be sure, once you find your partner, to sign up by using this peer edit sign-up sheet. Once you have selected your partner, you then need to share your rough draft with your partner. So obviously your paper should be typed up using Google Docs. Then you would just share that partner or your paper with your partner. And then I want you to be sure that your partner has the right to edit or comment on your essay. If you're afraid that your partner might change something that you don't want them to, um, I would suggest just giving them the right to comment on your work. Then you would actually begin conducting the peer edit. So first, you need to read your partner's essay from start to finish without making any sort of comments. I want you to just have an understanding of what your partner decided to write about. Next, you'll read the essay again, and during the second read, I want you to use the comment feature to correct any grammatical errors, punctuation, capitalization, or spelling that you recognize. Then, I want you to read the essay a third time. This diligence is going to help your partner make sure that they're submitting the best work possible. So during the third read, I want you to check your partner's essay to make sure it makes sense and that it follows the correct format. So remember, we've been talking about using the hamburger paragraph format. That way we have all of the elements needed for a really well-written paragraph. So make sure that your partner has their thesis statement, their transitions, their lead-offs, main idea one, two, and three, supporting sentences, at least two, for each of their main ideas, a concluding transition, and they should also restate their thesis. This list also has some bonus points here too. Your partner could include an attention getter at the beginning, and they can include closing thoughts. Points number one and eight are not required, but it might be something that your partner could do to go above and beyond. Really the important parts though are to make sure that your partner has two through seven at least. If you need an example, I have included a link to one right here. Then I also want you to check your partner's MLA format. Again, if you need an example, I've included one here for you. But basically, this just means that you're making sure that your partner has used Times New Roman font, that they're, uh, they have used 12-point font. They should also have a header in the upper left-hand corner, and the header should include their name, teacher's name, class name, and date. They should also have their last name and page number in the upper right hand corner. They should have a title that is not bolded, not underlined, and it's the same size as everything else. And they should have one inch margins on all side. Keep in mind, it should also all be double spaced. So that should be another thing that you check as well. Then when you have finished doing your multiple reads of your partner's essay, I want you to use the comment feature for our last step. The last step is to uh, add three notes that answer the following questions. One, what did you like about this essay? 
what did your partner do really, really well? Two, what could your partner do to improve this essay? Keep in mind that this is the first essay we've written all year, and so you're probably not going to have a, a paper that's perfect. So what could your partner do to improve? And three, what other comments would you like to make about this essay? Once you have finished editing your partner's paper, be sure to email your partner to let them know that you're finished editing their work. Then, once you get your paper back, it's going to be very important that you look at the comments that your partner made on your essay. Then, make all revisions and corrections as necessary. If you're not really sure if your partner made the best suggestions, you can always um, reference them with me as well, and I'd be happy to give you um, some pointers too. Once you make those revisions and corrections, you should have what's considered your final draft. When you have perfected your essay then, I'd like you to submit your essay to the appropriate folder on Schoology. Do not share your essay to my email. It all has to be uploaded to Schoology, please. If you're having issues uploading your document to Schoology, don't hesitate to reach out. If you have any questions about anything that I've talked to you about in this video, I'll be sure to reach out and I'll be glad to help you. Bye everyone.